going to ask and see if anyone can tell me. All right, so the match is about to begin on Oasis. Playing tonight for Sino and Friends, we have Red, No Thanks, Lord Sino, Keck, Inferno, and Asim on the sidelines, Bedrock, and Gamma. Now, for SMN Spartan, I suck, so I go pans. Connor, Bill Eagle, Spec, and Def. Now, does anyone know who I suck, so I go pans is? If so, let me know. I'll uh, give you a little bit of love when we go on air. We do have CNF starting out as the allied team. It's going to be up to them to set the initial time. They'll have 15 minutes to work with. And it's a big one, folks. Don't forget, No Thanks has thrown the gauntlet down. He says that he is representing the entire enemy territory community when he comes in here and destroys the egos of Splash My Nuts. Will he succeed? We should find out very soon as the first push is coming through here. And crap, I have nothing. I have nothing in this view. I can't see names. I can't. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't see shit. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a better setup on this one. Because honestly, you can't shout cast when you can't see any of the names. You can't see the dynamite timers. You can't see basically anything. I can tell you that the uh, attacks have begun over the flag. We do have an attempt at the old city. It was picked up by the allied teams, but the Axis took it back. The allies grabbing it. The Axis grabbing it. And finally, it looks like the allies may have this one. 13 minutes and 38 seconds on clock. Uh, let's try this. Let me check out what my ID is. I'm going to see if I can't make myself a shoutcaster. This should be fun. You can hear some action going uh, in the background. Give me just a second here. That didn't work. Oh, man. Shoutcaster, shoutcaster, shoutcaster. Make shout. That's not an option. Damn it. All right, so we have dynamite planted. I tell you how long there's left on the dynamite, but you know what? I can't see it. <laughs> That's awesome. So dynamite is counting down in favor of CNF. They've got a pretty good start here on Oasis. They've moved forward. They've already captured the forward bunker. It took them less than two minutes to get that dynamite down, and it's about to explode. There it is. They have breached the old city wall. They're making their way across. You know what's happening here as the caves drain and the anti-tank guns wait to be destroyed. Let's look for the first wave of action coming through here. Which way are they going to go? They're sneaking out on the top level looking to see who's out there. Absolutely no one for SMN. Not long. Look at that. I suck, so I go pans. Lines up with that panzer and vaporizes himself. It doesn't kill anyone in the process. And that's awesome. You know, Riley, I will let you help cast if you ever send me a sample of your ability to cast. Because I'm not about to bring some random person on air with me. I just don't play that game. But I would be willing to hear you do a little practice cast and maybe drag you on sometime. So how about that for a deal? No one has told me who I suck, so I go pans is. So we're going to pretend that that is a, a non-existent player. I don't know. First attack going on the north anti-tank gun. A couple of players coming up. I tell you all about them, but again, I tried that. Oh, we do have the south anti-tank gun already planted. Way to go there. And... <laughs> A double t plant going on here. So we have two plants down at the south end. I tank gun. Looks like an easy blow for C and F. And, you know, we'll see what they can do on the north end. I tank gun. As I'm going to try one more time. Ref, make shoutcaster my number. It's not working, kids. It's not an option. I will wait until the next half, and uh, let's hope that that one works out for me, but... Uh, okay, Kev, I will... Suck. South Anti-Tank End has been destroyed by C and F. They did it within four minutes of starting this match. It's 10 minutes and 53 seconds left on the clock. We're looking for some attacks on the North Anti-Tank Gun. We are seeing a pretty good coverage by the Axis team. They've got themselves hooked up with a medic up here at the top. Looking down here... Seems like we might have an engineer. Yes, we do. An engineer throwing down some damage. Going to kill himself and respawn in. That'll be Spartan playing as engineer for the SMN team. Lots of nades coming up towards that mid-attack point. Let's look inside. We do have a couple going past the command post right now. Going to get a little revive action as a grenade did fly in. We've got four of them inside here dodging those nades. 
and a three-prong attack coming towards that north anti-tank gun. Will the engineer make it through? That is the question with the 10-15 on the clock. Medic trying to keep the engineer revived. The engineer does come back in this one. Dynamite has been tossed down. Here come the pliers, dynamite. and we're looking at it. There it is, a dynamite plant at 10.06. 30 seconds left to go, and that dynamite will explode, and we will see a time set, a very fast time if this continues for the C and F team. Coming in here with a 4-0 record versus a 6-2 record for SMN. The dynamite ticking down. It is coming close to that time when it should explode. We have about five seconds left on that dynamite. No one to come in to defuse, and this is going to be success for the C and F team. They have destroyed both tank guns and set an initial time that is just astounding. That time, five minutes and 30 seconds. We'll see what Splash My Nuts has up their sleeves or down their pants. And let's see if I can get a, can you guys call vote me to be shoutcaster? I can't up, can't uh, do it myself. So let's hope that they have the ability because I sure as hell don't. It's not an option for me. <laughs> Please help me out here because I really would like to be able to give you some good broadcasting instead of just like uh, lackadaisical half-ass broadcasting. Now look at Spartan laying the smack down. We're getting ready for the second half of this first set. We'll see if this is actually just a fluke in favor of the C&F team. You never know. I'm telling them to call it. I, I know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try again. Referee, make shoutcaster 15. Ref, make shoutcaster 15. Call vote, make shoutcaster 15. Does that work? All right, I'm going to have to see if I can go in search of the Shoutcast password. Maybe, Riley, hey, tell you what, Riley, how about you go help me out? <laughs> All right, let's ref Shoutcaster. That's not going to work. <laughs> nice try, though. All right, well, maybe I'm just screwed. Yeah, I mean, I can see the game. It, that's not a problem with me being able to see the game. It's not. It's just me not being able to tell you exactly what's going on because I can't see poo. No poo on you. Come on, Riley, help me out here. Go find me the, the login stuff. Come on, you know you want to. Come on. Prepare to uh. fight. All right, so I'm going to sit here and, once again, not be able to see most of the stuff I need to see to make this a great cast. But, you know, I'll cross my fingers and hope for the best. Maybe we can get into Raven, Raven, Raiders Coven and find out what their Shoutcast login is. Because if I could get that, the world would be a better place. And, you know, we could use a better place, right? And I'll give the love out. I really will to whoever can make that happen. Lots and lots of broadcasting love. That's Fight. really Capture important, right? City. So we have switched sides. Hey, SMN, they have five minutes and 23 seconds left to go on the clock as they've got to get all the way through to the other side. Plant dynamite on both the north and south anti-tank guns. And they're coming up against some heavy opposition. Artillery support called down in the Gauntlet of Doom. Does it connect with anyone? No, it looks like SMN being pretty smart about staying out of the line of fire. And uh, <laughs> Bedrock says, this phase, we will see Red adapt his volleyball skills to rifle mating. Let's see what he's got up his sleeves as Red for C and F. Sino and Friends going to show us what the rifle nade's all about. Now let's take a look at the uh, roster here. C and F has Asim, Inferno, Lord Sino, Keck, that'd be Kekyoku, and Red, no thanks. 
Playing for SMN Spartan Spec, I Suck So I Go Pens, Connor, Bill Eagle, and Def. On the sidelines, we have Gamma and Bedrock for Sino and Friends. And we have seen one quick grab of the flag in the Old City, but it was quickly reclaimed by the Axis team of C and F. Will SMN be able to get in and get that forward spawn? We're looking for it right now as they're coming up the back stairwell, coming around the corner, hoping to get inside. Medic revive action going on, but absolute destruction by No Thanks with his MP40, destroying and leaving no survivors from SMN. We're going to be looking for another attack by SMN very soon here. I can hear them coming in off the spawn. A couple of them coming around the corner looking for the high road. Hoping to come in. Oh, excuse me. And get a get get a good push on that old city. An attack going on internally, waiting for uh, someone to come in. There we have a swoop where we had. Uh, let me see if I can see who that was. Someone who killed themselves, I think. Perhaps not, but we did see someone from SMN come in, try to grab that forward spawn, quickly mowed down in the Axis reclaim. So the attack on the forward spawn has been going on for over two minutes now. And you have three minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. And a phone ringing in the background, and so a uh, citizen's going to get smacked in the ass for that. How did, how did what I say be... How was what I said harsh? Yeah. I don't know. Come on, why? Because I asked you to go get me stuff and I'd give you on-air love? Come on, Riley. Where's the love? As we do have an attack on the old city, it has been captured in favor of the allied team. Can they hold on to it long enough to get dynamite down on that old city? So far waiting for the engineer to come through as the axes swoop in and take the old city back. The attack continues strong, but the allies have spawned in at that old city. The, they're continuing to pass control back and forth. It looks like the allied team of SMN may have this one as dynamite has been planted at that old city wall. Two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Not much time left to go, and they've got to get two dynamites down. It all depends on how they do on the other side versus Sino and friends. What kind of opposition they'll be coming up against. We do see one of the axes up high looking for a little bit more damage before the dynamite goes off. Going to wait a little bit longer. Dynamite should blow any second now. We're waiting for it. Here it comes. I can feel it. There it is. The old city wall has been breached and here comes the attacks on the anti-tank guns. I'm going to come in here to the anti-tank area. I tell you about the landmines, but I can't see them because I'm not a shoutcaster. Why does Riley hate me? It's okay, Riley. I still love you. I'm going to pop out here for just a second and see if I can't get some information that I'm looking for. Team list... Ugh, Raiders Coven. Clan RC. Alright, we're gonna go check out their channel really quick. I need ammo. Mm. Alright. I'm going to try to get some information, see if that'll help me. All right, so I I'm coming in here. <laughs> All right, so they have tried to, to fill things out, try to help me out here, trying to get some action going on. Uh, I know they are playing a match right now, I think. So that might just suck. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have some good defense going on inside, looking for the dynamite to be thrown down at these uh, anti-tank guns. Only 40 seconds left to go. Guys, I don't see this happening. They'd have to get dynamites immediately down on both tank guns for 30 seconds to expire and the dynamite to explode. And now, folks, we have officially entered garbage time. No way this is happening. No thanks. Throwing out some grenades. Team kill in there versus red. And uh, they, that's not a pretty picture. So we're going to see a full hold in favor of Sino and friends. And no thanks one step closer to holding up to his claim that he will avenge the enemy territory community. I don't know what that means, but, you know, whatever makes no things happy, right? Makes everybody happy because he's on. He's here on behalf of the community to slap down SMN to uh, put their egos into a box and drop kick it into next week. 
good games will be exchanged as the tank guns still are in working order. Inferno, no thanks, and uh, Kekyoku, Lord Sino as well, actually, coming in on the roll of honor. Spartan from SMN, going to be the best engineer. But outside of that, it's all about Sino and friends. Sino getting highest battle sense, best medic to Inferno, highest accuracy to Kekyoku, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff for Inferno because, well, he was the medic. All right, so we're going to head into the second set. Now it's going to be up to SMN to set the initial time. They'll have 15 minutes to work with, and we'll see if this time, now that they know how the opposing team is going to work, if they'll be able to step up their time. Granted, they only had 5 minutes and 30 seconds to work with last time. So... Ah... <laughs> uh. Well, T-Rex is going to try to help out once they get out of their match. It may be too late by then, so we're going to hold our own here. We're going to have a little bit of fun. You know, it's not the easiest way to cast a match, but before ET Pro and before the Shoutcaster login, it pretty much was all we had. Now, I'm used to at least being able to see names, but, you know, I, I can do without, I guess. It's, it's okay. I'll survive. So we have the countdown beginning. 23 seconds on that countdown. We'll be getting this match started. Playing for SMN. Uh, we're playing on the Raiders Coven. Let me see which one it is. Uh, let me take a look at the servers here. I know. Um, Repair the one. The match is on private. That's all I know. All right, so uh, I'm sitting in here, and we've got the match underway. We're going to see if that CNF can continue to pull off this massive control. And uh, <laughs> we're trying to figure things out. Okay, so the server has been called out as far as where the RC team is located, and we'll see what happens here. Rifle nade action from Red finds Def, and Def is going to have to find, start over there. Another rifle nade from Red. And Red is on fire. The volleyball skills are flying through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyhow. So that's actually why I need the information, T-Rex, is because I'm on that server, and I don't have the uh, Shoutcast login. That's what my problem is, guys. All right, so we have SMN caught in these back hallways. Three of them trapped back here, trying to make their way out. Four of them trapped, in fact, as the Spamaholics continue here. We see a lot of just explosions, destruction, rifle nades from Red. Here's a Lord Sino with MP40 damage coming out here. Spartan has whipped out the rifle grenade, and he is returning fire as they make their way through that gauntlet of doom and destruction. An attack coming in on that forward spawn point. Will they capture the old city? It's not looking likely on this push. They're going to have to start all over again and see what happens next time around as Def kills himself to spawn in with his team. They do have that allied command post. Eh, okay, that's kind of given on Oasis. It's a pretty easy one to get to. So They're coming through that command post. They're looking for another push. Nade's coming out to play as Spartan kills himself once again. Going to start over after throwing a nade out there. Some firefights happening down low. Landmine's coming out to play, and Bill Eagle going to feel the sting of that one. Bill Eagle throws out some support fire and kills his own teammate. Not much fun for the SMN team. 12 minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Still no action at that old city flag. But I think it may be coming soon. Maybe not. Maybe I'm giving too much credit to the incoming allied team of Splashmanuts. Got a little grenade action coming. One of the allies sneaking through. He's making his way up this side plank. Will he get through? Getting shot from behind. He's almost there, throwing out some health, and he has captured that forward spawn. But the Axis were right there waiting for them. Yeah. Guys, I, I know. I, it's, I, I appreciate all your help. I really do. And T-Rex is saying, yeah, but you're on the server and you're shoutcasting. What's the problem? The problem is I can't see their names in spec view. And I can't see the countdowns on the dynamite. I can't see the landmines. I can't see what types of characters are. Oh, T-Rex, I love you, man. But you just don't get it. There is no ET server. I give up. <laughs> I, I give up on you, man. My job isn't to cast from the ET server. My job is to provide a cast that works for the ET server. Uh, 
I don't know what you're doing, man. I still love you. It's okay. I don't even know who you are, but I love you. More attacks coming in through the Gauntlet of Doom. Four of them heading through for the uh, SMN team. Got a little bit of lag action going on here. It's getting pretty hot and heavy in here as the medics are reviving and the allies are dying. They keep trying to make it through and destruction galore. SMN held back. <laughs> back to their spawn. Here comes another attack by SMN. They're coming down into the hallways, getting into MP40 fires, trying to head up the side where you know the landmines are waiting for them. And sure enough, I suck, so I go pans. Trips over a landmine. Speck is caught in a corner, and a grenade finds him. Connor is destroyed by no thanks to support fire, and Lord Sino kicking up the rear with some MP40. We do see a CN, basically Sino and friends, Complete obliteration right now. Holding off SMN to the back hallways. SMN, the top-ranked team in their division, may find themselves starting out this match, this league. Actually, they came out the top in the standings. Yeah. The, the reason the ETTV was canceled is because Sino and friends could not play on the ETTV server. So that's part of our limitation here. If we were on the ETTV server, I actually have the information to view the shoutcast mode. So it's just an unfortunate circumstance, and uh, we're looking at a time of 10 minutes and 13 seconds. No progress, no measurable progress made by SMN. And I'm going to take a look here because I'm just curious. I want to go out to the invite news. Let's see what League News says here. Invite for enemy territory, Cal. Actually, Splash My Nuts comes in second ranked in Tier A. Sino and Friends is seventh ranked. So Splash My Nuts, as the second ranked team, may find themselves out of luck and out of this playoff... <laughs> playoff attempt here just on this first night now the draining is happening finally they got an engineer in there to get the trade now ah, that's going to be on the other side so they've got the other side draining that's not the old city water pump that's the uh, back walls water pump the oasis water pump the old city flag stands demure and ready for action, but no one is giving it love because none of the allies seem to be able to make it through. A lot of attacks coming in the back hallways. Crossfire being provided, and we do have an attack coming through here. Spartan with his uh, ACP tears down Inferno, but Kekyoku comes off that with his MP40. Finds Spartan needing a healthy, needing to get healthy and not able to find any help from the medic. So he's going to get reset back to the spawn. You can hear some more attacks coming in through these back hallways as the uh, SMN team is trying everything. Everything they can possibly think of to get through. Can they make it happen, though? <laughs> I don't know. All right. I am in ref mode, but I'm not able to see all this stuff. No Stradamus. That's the problem is that... You know, we're basically doing everything we possibly can, and it's just not happening. They tried to vote me in, and apparently it doesn't work on the server. I think perhaps Shoutcast, the, the, the whole Shoutcast setup, is actually disabled on the server. That is possible. I'm hoping it's not true, but uh, I'm going to give a shout-out to Xero, who is asking me if I give shout-outs. Of course I give shout-outs. What fun would it be without Shoutcast? Okay, that's what I needed to know. T-Rex... Giving me the bad news. They do not have shoutcasting enabled on their server. Thank you, though, T-Rex, for trying. Thanks for trying to find out for me. Oh, it's a sad, sad day in Trillian's little world when shoutcast logins are disabled and I'm stuck without names. But, you know, at this rate, there may not be much to tell you. We're sitting here... <laughs> We're sitting here on the server watching SMN get pretty much destroyed. They are not even making it to that old city spawn point. I mean, I'm sitting here watching and I'm just I'm blown away. Sino and friends has pretty much emasculated them. Taken away their manhood. No, wait. As soon as I say that, I think they're listening because they are making a potentially successful attack right now on the old city. But, oh, support fire from no thanks. Rips Bill Eagle to shreds, and there is no revival coming through for him. One attempt coming in here on the old city. It is Connor who is trying to get a hold of that old city. He does grab the flag, but look at the axis swarming in. 
as the Axis have actually paused the match. 999 for Inferno. And we're going to see a little break here. While we have a break, we're going to head out to a quick station identification. We'll be right back here. It is Inside the Game. Speed. Service. Community. GameCloud.com. A speed. This is radio. Yeah, I should probably watch that uh, time limit, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Lord Sino would get, have, like to give a shout out to Swinkism. Kekyoku would like more rifles, please. And, uh, you know, apparently uh, Inferno crashed. We'll get him back in here. Aw, a sim would like to give a shout out to Applesauce Pele, my crush. 6v6 all rifle nades on battery is the greatest ever. Okay, yeah, I don't know about that. Shout out to Will Stad if he's listening. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're giving all the love out there. Yes. Oh, you wanted to give us... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Xero, yes, I will give a shout out if you tell me what you'd like to hear. Now, what did I say that was... Now, Riley, you have still not explained what I said that was mean to you. I'm still waiting. Tell me what I did that was so mean. <laughs> Uh, I love you all. Let's go have babies. No, wait. That doesn't sound good. We're sitting here waiting for Inferno to get back in. Still paused. Inferno has completely crashed, but still on the server. There, he finally clears out of the server. As we have 15 seconds left on the pause, hopefully we'll get another pause here as we're waiting for Inferno to come back in. Now, Gamma and Bedrock are on the sidelines. Now, I just I have to point out here that the reason you usually have people spectating is so they can jump into the game when you lose a player. Ah, there we go. See, Gamma going to jump into the game here because <laughs> the match is going to resume and they're not necessarily going to have a pause. So Gamma jumps in here. We'll see if that causes them any difficulty whatsoever. As this match continues, 6 minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. We'll be waiting for Inferno to get back inside the game and see if this little pause has broken the momentum of the CNF team. Will SMN finally be able to break through and crap capture that old city spawn point? I don't know. We can hope for him. Everyone cross your, cross your fingers for SMN unless you are a part of the No Thanks crew who says SMN should die. We'll find out very soon. Here's an attack coming through here. They're trying to get through that side entrance. You know that the landmines are there. And worst of all, Spartan throwing out some support fire. Actually, Bill Legal throwing out some support fire. Spartan finds a landmine and kills his teammates, Connor and Death, and then gets destroyed by the uh, support fire. So it's pretty much death all around for SMN, not only from the opposing team, but also from their teammates. Never a pretty picture. Xero, wants, uh, Xero says he wants to splash his nuts on No Thanks' face. Wow, I think that's called teabagging. I think I'm going to get fired. But it is after, well after 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And doesn't that mean that I can be mature now and push the limits of shoutcasting? I don't know. We're still looking for an attack on that old city. The flag still firmly in the hands of the Axis team of C and F. And the allied bodies flying all over the place. Red launches death into the air with a rifle nade. He's been having a lot of fun with that one. More attacks coming through here. Death everywhere. The Axis team still surviving quite well. Grenades coming from all directions. Here comes another attack by the Allied team. Got some more nades coming out there as they're trying to get in that side entrance where you always know the landmines are waiting. And he's not even going to get in that doorway before he's destroyed by some MP40 action from Red. Bill Eagle can't come through here. Aww, Riley wants me to tell Death that he hates him and that he hopes that I get fired so that he can take his take my place because he's the best caster ever. Well, you know, you don't have to take my place. I don't have to get fired for you to, to actually come in and cast if you'd actually show me what your casting's all about instead of always saying, can I cast with you? But never being willing to show me what, what you can do. 
Ooh, I'm getting some nice lag. Finally, the old city has been captured captured by SMN. Can they hold on to it? They do have a push coming through by the Axis. The Axis not going to get through, however, and the Allies have made it happen. They're in position now. They're getting ready to throw out some dynamite. Dynamite coming through, dodging a couple of those landmines, or a couple of those grenades. A double plant going on there. Spartan going to kill himself right after he gets that dynamite planted. And they're looking for that old city water pump, hoping to get that built as well. And they're going to come in off the spawn, wait for the dynamite to count down. Three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Not much time left. Not much time at all. And another 9-9 coming through for Connor from SMN. Looking for the time out here. Will it come? Is Matt from Cal actually paying any attention? Uh, no, they're not pausing right now. They're waiting for Matt to see if he's going to make that happen. They have blown the old city wall, however. And uh, I'm getting the distinct impression that SMN is starting to give up. Artillery support from No Thanks. Very well placed as I suck, so I go pans and Bill Legal run out side and Bill Eagles revived comes back out and uh, you know they're deciding not to pause Spartan speaking for the SMN team saying you know pause whatever we, we've got this one the match is now paused by the Axis team even though SMN said they're not interested in a pause I don't know I don't know what's going on here Eclipse says shout out is deaf needs to die Hey, now, get your hands off my panties, you sick bastards. You sick, sick mother bunches. I, I don't know what to say about these guys. They're having a tough time as Connor is timed out. And they have no idea where he is. They don't really want the pause, but uh, they, they have it anyhow because basically C and F gave it to him. Def says, unpause it. We have no one to come in, so there's no point. And I suck, so I go pan says, we don't know where he's at. I'm hungry and bored. The point is for the 999 to come back. He's lagged out of IRC. Apparently, he's lost his internet connection altogether. You know, he must not be on speakeasy because, you know, if he had speakeasy, he'd be there now. I don't even know. Speakeasy.net. Mm-hmm. Connor is going to be dumped from the server. So we'll see if Connor makes it back into this game. As you know, we've lost one player from each team now so far. And, you know, I am a ref. I, I actually... Um, I don't even know what to say. We're sitting here in pause. We're going to hopefully unpause very soon. It's going to be five on six as we have under three minutes left to go. The countdown is here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Match back underway here on Oasis as SMN attempting to set the time. They had 15 minutes to work with. Now less than three minutes left to go. Took them over 10 minutes to get that forward spawn grabbed, get the dynamite planted, and they're just now beginning their attack on the anti-tank guns. You know, they made it a lot further last time, I must say. They've got a lot of death being dealt out here in the courtyards in front of those anti-tank guns. You can hear things exploding. Not much death happening actually right now as we're waiting for the next spawn to come in for the SMN team. Here it comes, following them through the sand inside the tunnels, coming out the other side into the main courtyard. They're going to go the back route. Actually, two going the main direction, three going around back. And no, wait, no, they're throwing some nades in towards the Axis spawn, and then they're going to come running around the long way as well. So everyone coming in on the south anti-tank gun entrance, looking for an attack, trying to get dynamite planted. They have only two minutes left to go. Not much to work with here. It's been a very tough match so far. Riley, hun, you, you do know there actually is no spe no shoutcast mode on this server, which is why I can't even call vote. I can't even ref myself into a shoutcast mode. <clears throat> so, I, I, there's not much I can do. We'll, do. we'll just have fun with the mode that I'm in right now. 
A lot of death happening. SMN unable to make it through. One minute and 27 seconds left to go. And not much hope for SMN to make it past this. You know, they may be able to get dynamite planted down at that south empty tank gun. If they can do that, at least it's something. At least it gives them a little boost to uh, what No Thanks would say is their already bloated egos. But I know. No, dude, I already know. I already know that I haven't got much to work with because it's already gone. But I appreciate your attempt. Why does everyone think death should die? Why is that a common theme? I'm not going to shout out that, man. I guess uh, No Thanks did have some truth to his statement that the entire community wants SMN to die. Wants them to feel the sting. Wants them out of control. And apparently there are some wishes that SMN would dissolve after this. Now, I'm never one to actually vote for the d dissolving of a team. Because I think it's good to have any teams out there, even if you don't like them. Dynamite has been planted at the South Anti-Tank and Less than 30 seconds left to go. So that seems to be all SMN's going to get. Can they even hold on to that Dynamite plant, however? One player defending the Dynamite and pliers have come out. So the Dynamite, I didn't see how much time was left on it. There it is. Dynamite has been diffused with 11 seconds left to go. No dynamites planted in this match for SMN. All they have for them is death and destruction. Connor coming back into this game. He came back just a little while ago and I forgot to let you guys know. As the match is now over, full hold for CNF. Now if CNF can just set a time, then everything's great. Let's take a look at that roll of honor. Lord Sino coming through with all sorts of good stuff. Highest light weapons, highest, most highly decorated. We've got no thanks with highest battle sense. Spartan from SMN, best engineer. Connor, best medic, highest accuracy. I suck, so I go pants. Little love getting shared with just about everyone out there. Mumbles would like to give a shout out to Central Havoc Invitationals. If that's not too much, it's going to be invitational.central-havoc.ch. And I actually checked out this website a little bit earlier. It just opened up today. It's some Rocket Arena 3. That's what we're actually dealing with. And I guess that actually Speakeasy is involved in uh, making sure that they have servers for this. So open registrations for your RA3 team if you have one. If you don't have one, Go create one. Sign up for the semi-invitational league. Some teams will be invited. Others, well, you know. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, T-Rex. I take it back. They did get dynamite planted at the old city wall, but I meant what I meant is no anti-tank guns destroyed. Whatever. Let's take it outside. I'd so kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to have another half of a match here. As soon as Connor gets his ET restarted, he's actually gone out of the game. Going to get things set up. Here he comes back in. And uh, you guys are all crazy. That's all I have to say. Silver, Eclipse, T-Rex, Malenkov's out there. Squee is actually a non-internet term. It's uh, more of a girly term. Just imagine fist, holding your hands and fisting going, Squee! Like, it's very exciting and, and stuff like that. So, I don't know, man. I, I just I just say it. I. Riley wants to me to tell Death that uh, he loves him. Um, You know? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Riley loves you, Death. If you're out there, the love is coming your way. <laughs> Malenkov. It's okay, man. You know the love's there. GameCloud is sponsoring. Right, right, right. GameCloud. Shout out to all the Europe, European leets. <laughs> what is a European leet? <laughs> I know he's playing. You want me to actually type it? All right. There, I've typed it. Riley says he loves you. As we have 10 seconds left on the countdown to begin the second half of the second set. And Spartan wants love, Riley. Look what you've started. Aw. Fight. There we go. All right, so let's see if CNF can do a repeat performance of what they did in the first set. Their first time was 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Now they're coming through. They're running through fast. Not much spammage going on in these hallways as they make their first attack on the old city. Will they make it through? 
Your guess is as good as mine. I'm looking inside this old city, looking for an attack by the CNF team. No sign of them as of yet. You can hear the firefights off in the distance as they are attacking through those tunnels. Coming in through the side entrances, they haven't even bothered to build that command post as of yet for the allied team. A lot of strikes falling down right now. Artillery support being called in the main hallways. And CNF actually finding this a little bit di more difficult than they did last time. Last time it took them two minutes to get the old city. Right now they are already a minute in and no sign of the old city for them. Still plenty of time. However, they have 15 minutes with, uh, with which to work as they managed a full hold in the last set. Looking down these hallways as we have some more damage happening out here in the open. Old city wall captured. I did, or old city captured. I didn't even see that one. They have some pretty good defense coming in here. They're continuing to hold that down. Fresh spawn coming in for the allied team. Engineer flying across the map. The pliers have come out. Will he get the dynamite down before the artillery support gets him? Yes, he will. Dynamite has been planted at the old city wall. Working on the old city water pump. And uh, people killing themselves, getting themselves reset and ready for action. As we have 13 minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Dynamite about to explode. Dude, don't run in there. Okay. He's killing himself. Oh, here comes the defuse by the Axis team. Oh, not able to make it happen. I suck, so I go pants tried to defuse and ended up having to kill himself knowing that he was going to die. The old city wall has been blown wide apart. And the allies finally construct their command post as they blow open that old city wall, knowing that they don't want to walk all the way back to the command post once they've made it through. So we're looking at an attack coming through the back hallways. Only one player for the Axis team playing forward defense. And he's just waiting. And he's going to go ahead and kill himself. It's going to be one of either Spartan death or spec as they all kill themselves to get a fresh spawn in at the anti-tank guns. Let's take a look at these anti-tank guns and see if we have any sign of the allied team. So far, all is secure in the south anti-tank gun. I'm looking off to the side. Not much action happening out here. In fact, it's pretty calm. We've actually got an attack coming around the back side. Just one player making his way through. It's looking towards that middle entrance. Will he come through? Not quite sure. He's waiting here for his teammates to give him the go-ahead. He starts to come through that back entrance, and he's going to go ahead and... Uh, did he get nailed by a rifle nade? Kekyoku gets nailed by a rifle nade. He's got an attack coming in on the south anti-tank gun. Beautiful rifle nade coming through by Spec, Lord Sino, and Asim, both getting destroyed by that one. Another attack coming in at that south anti-tank gun. No success for the C and F team. SMN's looking for a full hold here to force a third map. And CNF wants this over and done with. They're coming in through that side entrance towards the north anti-tank gun. Getting into a little bit of a fight there as artillery support has been called down outside the Axis spawn point. And they've got to make a run for it to get through. Coming around the back entrance. One of them coming in towards the middle entrance from the Axis spawn. Going to get nailed by rifle nade. That'd be Lord Sino getting destroyed by Specs rifle nade. And we're still waiting for action on either of the tank guns. Looking inside, the north anti-tank gun is guarded by one Axis soldier right now. A medic, in fact. The south anti-tank gun. No one's inside. But we do have a couple of... No, that's going to be an ally down low. Looking to see if there's any Axis up high at that south anti-tank gun. And actually, no sign of anyone at the south anti-tank gun. Going to get a revive here, hoping to get the engineer up to the south anti-tank gun and get a dynamite plant. The medics are guarding that anti-tank gun, and here comes the engineer. Dynamite being tossed down. Pliers come out, dynamite plant, and dynamite plant. has successfully been planted at the south anti-tank gun. Looking for an engineer for the SMN team to come in for a diff diffuse. 10 minutes and 28 seconds, plenty of time to focus on the north anti-tank gun. As I suck, so I go pans, goes Panzerfaust, and finds red. Slowing him down just a little bit, but no thanks. Returning the favor with some Thompson action on. I suck, so I go pans. Still looking for some good fun times. There you go. The South Anti-Tank Gun has officially been destroyed. Looking in these back hallways, I'm at the North Anti-Tank Gun. Looking to see, we've got no one actually in the main area guarding that one. One player for the Axis team is the main guard. 
on the North Anti-Tank Gun. I'm looking for some more action from the CNF team. They've got a lot of time to work with. They've got another Axis waiting for them at the Axis Spawn Point Tunnels. If they go inside, you know, head in through that the main houses there. Another one coming in off the spawn to join them. Let's look at that North Anti-Tank Gun as the fire is getting heavy out here. One trying to sneak through for the Allied team. A medic reviving the engineer. Can't actually have the field ops, isn't it? Trying to get the engineer. Engineer in there, the medics are coming in, the engineer sneaking through, the engineer makes it inside at the north anti-tank gun, throws down the dynamite, no one to guard him, however, and he gets dynamite planted, even though he's getting nades thrown at him, he's all by himself, explosions happening there, nade from red, and look at that, Matt says, <laughs> red is good for something, me capers. Engineer coming through. Pliers are out. We are going to get a defuse. No problem there for the Axis team. But a nice push by C and F as they manage to get a dynamite planted at the North Anti-Tank. And it is defused, but they have 8 minutes and 45 seconds with which to work. And we're going to see another dynamite push right here. Actually, I believe this is a medic we're working with right near here. Not an engineer. Medic clearing the way for his engineer. Two medics going to join up here. Getting nailed by nades and Panzerfaust from all directions. Can the engineer get through? He's actually all by himself. Oh, no, wait. Got a medic right there. Ooh, revive coming on here. A couple more medics running through for the Sino and friends team. Still waiting for the engineer to come out into the open as destruction continues to rain down from unknown coordinates. I'm looking out here in the corners. You know the next spawn for the Axis team is going to come dynamite fresh planted. with death. As the North Anti-Tank Gun has dynamite planted, this time with a few players to defend it. We've got three for the Allied team guarding that North Anti-Tank Gun. Will they be able to hold off the incoming Axis forces for the next 20 seconds? I actually think it's very, very likely as they continue to bring in more off the spawn for the Allied team guarding that North Tank Gun Dynamite. Time's almost out here. No sign of an engineer for the Axis team. And we are going to get a successful explosion. There it is. This match, my friends, is over and done with. Let's get a time here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. The time reached in the second match, 7 minutes and 32 seconds. Final score is 2-0 to zero in favor of Sino and friends. As Kek Yoku lets everyone know, go visit Pound ET-Center on IRC or et-center.com. Check it out. And, uh... <laughs> Spartan says, No thanks says, uninstall. And Spartan says, For you, no thanks? Because I love you so much? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Spartan's giving me a shout-out. <laughs> I don't even know. So this match is over and done with. Let me give you a quick recap of what happened throughout this one. Sino and Friends, actually no thanks from Sino and Friends giving me the heads up before the match started that he was positive that they were going to lay the smack down on Splash My Nuts because he felt it was his duty. It was his duty to take out SMN. Now the reason is that he says on behalf of this, the... the uh, enemy territory community, it was necessary for SMN to feel the sting of this one, that their egos were far too big, and he was the one to deliver the smackdown. Now, coming into the match, you know, whatever. I, I, you can talk smack all you want, but, you know, it really comes down to playing the best game. And Sino and Friends came out with a huge bang. Five minutes and 30 seconds was the time they said on the first round of Oasis. SMN was not able to come back from that time. They get held off for another 15 minutes in the second set, and 7.32 was all it took for Sino and Friends to capture both maps, get the points, and win the series. They'll be moving on in the playoffs for Cal Invite.